Shalom. I'd like to say all praises due unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. This is just a short lesson. This is um, the guy from um, Rich Dad, like the so called Rich Dad Poor Dad uh, guy, uh, that book. He has a channel now. Um, Robert Kioski. All right, um, I think he's Japanese, and um, they're talking about you know the geopolitical um, events that's happening, you know here uh, in the world, and uh, we're approaching World War Three, man, and um, you know because you know America, you know Babylon, the whore uh, uh, of mistress. I think it's in uh, Revelation uh, 17, you know, and, uh, you know, they're, you know, they're the ones who's, uh, you know, upholding, you know, this empire and, uh, and they want to keep raping and plundering the earth of their resources, their re minerals and power, you know, and, um, you know, we have everyone that's living under this whole uh under this american dollar you know and um you know it's a fiat currency you know it's uh you know i'm not done away with you know it's not really it's really paper it's not tangible you don't have no proper assets you know we're all like we're only living um through a number you know through these different corporation you know your uh, birth certificate, you know, your so your social identification, you know, your sin, you know, um, you know, um, and basically, um, this guy he's talking about, you know, what's going on with uh, Russia and China and all that, and uh, you know, this is gonna be a great war, and uh, it's already been written in the book. Right in our in the book, right, and um, you know, we get Revelation uh, hold on, Revelation uh, I think it's Revelation 8, I think it's 9. Yeah, Revelation 9. Um, Revelation 9 and uh, 12. One woe is past, and behold, there cometh two woes more hereafter. So uh, we know that, you know, there's World War One, you know, which was, uh, you know, between uh, 1914 to 1918, you know, um, we could, you know, do, we could do our own. You could do your own research about World War One, um, you know, World War Two. You know, uh, with uh, the Germans, you know, the Germans was just basically, uh, like they were destroyed. You know, and basically, uh, a lot of the German scientists they went into hiding. You know, under, uh, you know, uh, through America. Some of them went to Russia, some of them went to uh, South America, you know, and, um, and like, they're the ones who's, uh, you know, who basically created this whole smith. That's why uh, the Lord, uh, Isaiah 54 and 17, it says, uh, behold, I, I've created a smith. I could get that after. One woe is past, and behold, there cometh two woes more hereafter, man. So uh, we're approaching the third woe. And uh, it's going to get nasty, man, because, uh, you know, the average person doesn't really know what's happening. Like, they're not into the geo, uh, uh, you know, the average person is not into the so-called geo, uh, uh, the so-called geopolitics, you know. Isaiah uh, 54 and 16. Behold, I've created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, that 
bringing forth an instrument for his work and i have created the the waster to destroy so this is ultimately the, 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 like this was the heavenly father who created this technology you know what esau has because of this same technology what the heavenly father gave you know to the Temanites or you edomites you know uh you, through you german scientists you know you know it's ultimately going to destroy you uh, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise up against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn this is the heritage of the servant of the lord and the righteousness is of me saith the lord so that's it after this whole um, after this whole destruction man this third woe you know the elect is going to be saved man and, and like they're not going to be destroyed you know and uh you're going to have to rebuild back up our kingdom you know like you're going to have to rebuild the earth you know because uh you know you, you did a lot of wickedness on this earth man so you have to uh pay back you know and not just you it's going to be all you other nations including you isa Huh? Um, make me um this is for educational purposes so um, i'm gonna just play this and then we're gonna see where the spirit's gonna lead so let's go with the sanction money from from that they took from russia they didn't just sanction it they now confiscated it and they are using it to rebuild the ukraine and this is a very, very, very big problem. And when we go around trying to, to as an example, uh, back the Ukraine with $114 billion that we had to borrow, um, it's crazy, including given, giving um, pensions to the Ukrainian government when there's a $1.75 trillion pension shortfall in this country. The world is saying these guys are out of their mind. Yep. Look at what they're doing. Yep. And, you know, I think that is only exacerbating. And that's why I often wonder in the recesses of my mind late at night when I'm laying in bed, was this all intended? And I saw you on Kabuto the other day talking about this. Is this intended is basically what you were saying. And, you know, when you when you weaponize the dollar and make everyone think, geez, am I on the wrong side of, of the West? I better make alliances with the other countries who are all moving away from that system. And you have to ask yourself. When we have uh, a $31 trillion debt, 76 trillion unfunded in social security, about 130 or 40 trillion in funded and unfunded liabilities. It's about 200 it's game over. Yeah, so it's, it's really game over because, you know, this whole system is about to collapse and they want to uphold the system with this whole, um, th this basically sea hip in everybody. You know, which, um, you know, it's going to happen, you know, but, you know, this is going to lead to a third world war, you know, so um, they're really running out of time, you know, because, you know, that when they try to do a check, a checkmate or that when they try to do a check, you know, like the Heavenly Father is going to checkmate them, right? So, um, you know, that's why so much things is happening. So much things is under the radar, but um, you know that's why we have to watch as well as pray because um, there's a lot of things happening, man. You know, we see what's going on with Russia, China. You know, and uh, what's happening in the Ukraine and shit. But all this is just uh, all this is prophecy. Um, Ezekiel thirty-eight. You know, one to uh like six it goes into that about um the bear you know um this is job 20 verse uh, 4 knowest thou not this of old since man was placed upon earth that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment so they want to you know prosper you know with this whole uh these edomite nation this north atlantic organization treaty organization you know and dominate the world but the bear you know which um you saw called brick nation um, brazil russia india 
um, China, and I believe uh, South America, or no, stock like South Africa. You know, they're uh, they're uh, like like they're plotting. You know, against uh, against the whore, against a Babylon, America, and uh, so there's so much things that's gonna be that's gonna happen, but um, everything what we're Everything what we're talking, you know, on the streets, doing our in classes, is actually gonna happen in uh, real time, you know, cause it's, it's already been written before, you know, like by the prophets, you know, the word prophet means to say before. Though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds, so with his satellites, his space station, you know, you know, SpaceX. You know, um, his drones and you know his bombs, his nuclear bombs. You know his, his nuclear submarines. You know, you know like the Lord, he's gonna he's gonna judge them, man. You know, and and you're ultimately gonna lose because this is gonna be the this is gonna lead to the third world, the third world, the third world war. All right, which is um, you know. This is gonna happen in our lifetime, and uh, we're it's approaching that time, man. Right? Yet shall he perish forever like his own dung. They which shall see him shall say, "Where is he, man?" So even after this whole destruction, man, you know, you know, like you're gonna, you know, like you're gonna have to, uh, you know, you're gonna have to come back in your lap, man, and uh, you're gonna have to build up our kingdom. And ultimately, uh, after that thousand years, you're gonna be no more. You're gonna be like, you know, like where's the so-called, like where's the Edomite? Where's the red man? There's no, you know, that like, you won't be able to, uh, like you won't be able to exist after that thousand years, man. Right? He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. The eye also which saw him shall say shall see shall see him no more neither shall his place any more be, uh, behold him his children shall seek to please the poor and his hand shall restore the goods uh, that's pretty yeah this is you know like this is all uh, esau judgment you know that when the lord comes in you know because even though oh like they want to try to do all kind of charity outreach and try to help so-called uh, negro you know native and latinos you know like it, 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 like you won't be able to um compensate us and what happened to us as a nation like you won't be able to compensate us man you know we're going to be compensated through you know um, like we're going to be compensated when the lord comes and when he's gonna restore us man all right um let me just play this here. This is actually a good interview. So let's play. Abilities. It's about 200 is the game trillion. Over? Is the game over? Deficit. Right. Yeah. And so is the game over. And yeah. so by doing what they are doing, were they finding a scapegoat? Xi Jinping, Saudi Arabia, uh, uh, Russia, um, you know the OPEC countries are they finding available yeah this is actually good because this is all linked up with prophecy man um Isaiah 15 Isaiah um second Ezra's 15 and um I started at uh 27 for now are the plagues come upon the whole earth and ye shall remember, and it's like, and ye shall remain in them, for Yahweh shall not deliver you because ye have sinned against him. Behold, an an horrible vision, an apparent of thereof from the east, right, from Asia, you no, know, that whole region, that fertile crescent, where where the nations of the dragons of arabia so saudi arabia shall come out with many chariots and the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon the earth and they that that all they 
which hear them may fear and tremble. Also the Car also the Carminians region in Raf, right? So the Carminians are you um are you Iranians? Alright. Let me uh just put this if you go on uh go on the internet, just put no Carminians. We go on Google. The Carminians. And that's referring to the Iranians. So I have to spell it properly. So lucky about that. Okay. okay. Carmenians. Yeah. Carmenians. So that's been Iran. See the Carmenians. So that's why we always have to go into certain maps um certain things you know with that when we're reading the bible right um the carmenians region uh also persian the middle persian in the historic region that is um approximately corresponding to the to the modern day iranian it's the promises of of Carmen and uh pretty much let's see what I you know so uh you know Iran you know that we know that um you know the state of Israel America like they have uh they have uh, uh, uh um like vengeance you know against the Iranians man and it's already it's proxy it's already prophesied you know Ezekiel uh Ezekiel uh, like thirty eight you know goes into that you know so uh we're approaching these times man also the carmenians raging in the raft shall go forth as a wild boar of the wood and with the great power shall they come and uh join battle with them and shall waste a portion of the land of assyria all right the land of assyria was referring to um was gonna it's gonna be referring to america and they shall the dragons have the upper hand and and remember their nature and they they that shall turn themselves it says conspire together in great power that to persecute them right so you know they're gonna because basically saudi arabia right now they're uh doing a lot of deals with america but you know they're gonna basically uh flip against the whore against america right? and uh iran's gonna come in power you know then they shall be troubled keep silence through their power and shall flee and from the land of assyria and shall the enemy besiege them and consume some of them and in their host shall be feared and the dread sh and strife among the kings behold clouds from the east and from the north upon the south and they sh they are very terrible to look upon full of wrath and storm and they shall waste and they shall smite one upon another All right so there's going to be a third wall right? and that's why i said that michael we get we read daniel uh 12 and i believe in revelation where i talk about michael you know and um you know there's gonna be a great war in heaven you know and michael you know the one of the he's gonna be the uh you know that under yahweh shai you're gonna have michael who's gonna stand up you know so there's gonna be a great war in heaven man so we're approaching these times you know so we gotta get our mind ready um because things is happening man so um 
Yeah, with that, let us say our praise due unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahawashai, Ba'ashim Rekha'akwadash, the one to the pastors of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the whole for members of the elect. I'm going to uh, share this link, you know, um, with this uh, with this talk. You know, this is actually a good little interview. So uh, we got to uh, see what's going on with this whole, like, that geopolitics, so-called geopolitics. We got to get more... Uh, you know certain things certain prophecies and just just link it up you know with the scriptures right um so with that let's just praise you do it to your how about shimmy i will share it but shimmy the ones of the process of great millstone shalom